Is it good, YouTube? That's what the kids say, right? Is it good? Your Shumalier is back with another video. This one, once again, is gonna be a little bit different. While I am gonna review this shoe, I'm also gonna compare it to another shoe that already came out earlier and then give you an on feet. So what's that shoe? It is Adidas. It is an Ultra Boost, but it's a women's shoe. And if you've watched my videos, you know I wear women's shoes. I have just the right size feet in men's that I can wear women's when they come out. So this may be my fourth or fifth or sixth pair of women's Ultra Boost. And this one is the gray carbon ash pearl Ultra Boost. As you can see, I wear a size 10 in women's, which transfers to about a size nine in men's. And more often than not, the women's 10 fits me slightly better than a men's nine. So if you're a man wanting to wear women's shoes, then I think you can pretty consistently just size a full size up. Eight to nine, eight and a half to nine and a half, in my case, nine to 10. By this point, you know what an Ultra Boost looks like and you know what the knit of an Ultra Boost 4.0 looks like. So let's do a very quick gloss over. Underneath, standard continental rubber outsole. Torsion system in a peach orange, orange peach. Stock Ultra Boost midsole, still top of the line. The standard setter, the gold standard. Your heel cup or your heel counter is in a nice peach color. Some could consider it maybe a soft khaki or a white woman's skin tone with some foundation on it. I don't know. Actually, it's my skin tone's foundation color. Whoops. A full-blooded Mexican-American skin tone color who has been raised in Austin and is slightly anglified. Slightly? Please. I've heard the coconut jokes all my life. Your standard flat Ultra Boost laces. These have a peach, black, and white speckled mixture. And your aglets are not quite black, but maybe a dark gray, super dark gray, maybe a charcoal dark gray. Your prime knit upper is black and gray, or as they say, carbon and gray. Oh, I get it, carbon, not necessarily black. And then the cage, which is my favorite part of the shoe. The cage, cage is like leather. It's not your standard TPU material, and it's not the nylon that come on other Ultra Boosts. This one's a pretty good leather. It's a beautiful shoe. I love it. It's an elegant shoe. So with that out of the way, let's compare this shoe to another shoe that has already come out. That shoe, the men's Ultra Boost 4.0 in the quote unquote mocha colorway. I think these shoes are the brother and sister, the husband and wife, the twins version of each other. First, the prime knit upper. You can see that the pattern is basically the same between the two, not the 4.0 prime knit pattern, but the pattern of the colors. While the men's has that light brown mocha mixed with the black, the women's has the gray mixed with the carbon black. Now, obviously the laces are very different between the two. The man's are more of a black foundation with the gray sprinkled throughout, and the women's is more of a peach, black, and white melange. But on the men's laces, the aglets match the color of the heel cut or the heel counter. Whereas on the women's laces, they tend to match the color of the cage, which is more of a carbon color. Speaking of the heel cup, the men's version of the heel cup is kind of a mocha color. And when I say mocha, I tend to think about more of the cup of coffee that you would get, as opposed to actually like a chocolate brown. You know how you get coffee and you put some milk in it, browns it up a little bit? That's what I think that is. However, the women's version is kind of a latte version. There's more milk, maybe you put some whipped cream in it as well. It's a softer color. So the mocha men's shoe is kind of like a little bit of milk and the women's shoe is kind of like a little bit more of milk. I don't know, I don't put milk in my coffee. I take it black. But the biggest difference between these two shoes and why I like the women's shoe more than the men's shoe is the cage. The men's cage is your standard TPU 4.0 cage, but it's stock, it's standard. Nothing wrong with that, it's fine. The woman's, it just seems like a higher quality, probably because it's more of a leather type cage. It screams more elegant to me, more luxurious, more couture. I realize it's not, but it seems that way. And I also appreciate the fact that the laces pop out from the prime knit upper of the women's Ultra Boost. I think collectively, the woman's shoe is a nicer colorway. I think it offers more in terms of variety. Either way, both of these are really good shoes and I wouldn't have bought both of them if I didn't intend to rock these shoes. Much like my review when I compared the men's multicolor to the women's multicolor, I prefer the women's version of the shoe to the man's version of the shoe. But the important part is both of these shoes exist. I was able to grab both of them and I'm gonna wear both of them, not at the same time, but I'm gonna wear them. So don't we all win in a roundabout way? At least Adidas wins because I bought these shoes. So let's put these suckers on feet and Cue the sexy music.
So what do you think about these women's latte ultra boosts? Do you like them as much as the mocha? More? Less? Let me know in the comments down below. It's definitely a good looking shoe. Welcome to Mont Shoemore. As of this taping, we have officially crossed 300 subscribers. Wow, this is great. Started from nothing and now we're here, here. Shout out and thanks to all of you who keep commenting, giving thumbs up, subscribing, obviously. As I've said before, I'm always looking to improve. So if you have any comments, suggestions, recommendations, constructive criticisms, leave in the comments down below and I'll definitely take them into consideration. If you like this video, why don't you give us a thumbs up? And if you really like what I'm pumping out, click that red subscribe button. If you have any interest at all in my professional life, how I make money, how I make music, take a look at my other channel, Daniel Montoya Jr. And as always, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and just chill. Till the next episode.